Welcome to Everything is Messy, the podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. I'm someone who loves to create content, products, and services to help others level up in business and in life. I even wrote a book about it, and now I have a store. Everything is Messy is a one-stop shop for women who want it and deserve it all. From personal development to productivity, podcasting and publishing, small business strategies to entrepreneurship, and so much more. Tune in every week to enjoy this one-of-a-kind podcast experience and hear fun, fearless, and focused conversations from myself and my incredible guests from trending topics to stories of resilience and all things business. And let's not forget about a few of my favorites, mindset, healthy recipes, and organizing tips. These episodes are created to get you to where you want to be right now. The purpose of the show is to motivate you, inspire you, and prove to you that anything is possible if you just put in the work. So grab your favorite notebook and pen because it's time to get organized and turn those dreams of yours into reality. I'm living proof that manifesting and visualizing and having a never give up attitude work. And now it's my job to help you achieve your goals by doing the same or just to provide some laughs along the way. I'm so glad you are here. Today's episode starts now. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode. You are listening to show number 280, and I have some exciting news for you. I am going to be putting out two episodes every week for the remainder of the year, which puts us at episode 300 to air on January 1st, 2022. That's just so crazy to even say that year. (laughs) This year has kind of been like a blur. I don't know about you, but the last couple of weeks, to be honest, have just been like really intense and overwhelming and exhausting. And today I am feeling it. So I wanted to share with you what I'm going through and how I get out of my funk and you could probably hear my voice. I have like a little bit of a sore throat. I don't know if it's because I have a new stand-up desk and I'm literally standing and inhaling like all the air that's coming right through my window. So maybe it's allergy related. I'm not sure, but I got all the oranges. I made fresh juice. I had chicken soup. I'm going to make a delicious veggie filled gut healing and inflammation decreasing, I guess you could say soup. I'm all about getting rid of this inflammation and healing my gut these days. And one of the ways that I'm doing that is going to the chiropractor. I'm going to do a whole entire show on my chiropractic journey because it is unreal the amount of stuff that I'm learning just by looking at a chart. It's so crazy. So stay tuned for more on that. But I would love to know if you've had a chiropractic experience send me a message over on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. I'd love to hear your thoughts because it's literally blowing my mind. But that is one of the ways that I'm healing my gut and just getting rid of all of this past trauma and stress and inflammation that's still in my body from honestly like being misdiagnosed. It's taking years and it's so frustrating. And every now and then I forget until I get a little wake up call that's like a smack in the face where I can't move and I throw my back out or I can't move my neck. But now it's like I have a sore throat. I think universe is just telling me like full moon vibes, all this new energy and I've wiped out. And I know I'm not alone. Like you just need to stop and regroup. So I have all the healing remedies. I'm going to take it easy and kind of work from bed. I'm in my office now. I'm literally standing as I record this. I love the new productivity amounts of energy that I'm having. You, yesterday and the day before, I was on fire. Now today, I'm just dead. I'm so tired. But I'm like, I can't be the only one. So I need to share with you what I do when that happens so that You can take some of these steps and implement them into your own life, whether personally or professionally, and help you get out of this funk. So I know the universe is just like, okay, you've been go, go, you've been in go, go, go mode, right? So now I just need to like regroup, have all the fruits and veggies. I made myself some fresh orange juice, which is so good. I totally needed that. And by the way, you need to do that. The store-bought OJ has so much sugar and added stuff in it. Like, you don't need any of that. You just need the vitamin C, so just blend an orange. I literally blended two with, I think I used like a half a cup of water, and that's it. So I'm pumping my body with all the fruits and veggies and turmeric and ginger and all the healing remedies I have up my sleeve just to feel good this weekend because I'm working all weekend long. Because on Monday, I've decided on Monday, a 99.9% positive that Monday 
is the day that my holiday collection goes out. I cannot wait for you to see what I've been working on. So if you are not on my email list, please sign up at everythingismessy.com or you can go to kellyangorman.com. The links are always in the show notes because you will get first dibs. And some of these collections are extremely limited and it's holiday. So I don't want you to miss out, but I've been working for months on these, literally months. And so now, of course, it's like game time. (laughs) I have to work all weekend long and I'm like dying over here. But it's okay because I'm the queen of the power through and (laughs) just power through and be as productive as possible. And so let me just share like the last couple of weeks that I've been going through so that you understand like why I'm even recording this show in the first place. So a couple of weeks ago, I just like got into such a depressing funk again. I don't know why. And then I realized I'm anniversary dates of old chemo sessions. It's unreal how much your brain and body remember previous trauma. And I couldn't remember or realize like, why am I like so sad today? Like I woke up and I would cry like out of nowhere. Like that's not the normal situation for me. I usually wake up. I have my delicious iced coffee, my super coffee. I'm always talking about. I have my espresso cubes, my homemade pumpkin spice, vanilla almond milk. Like I'm high maintenance with my coffee situation and that's okay because that's what works. I have my one and done in the morning and I'm good to go, but I would wake up and I'm like so sad and I'm like, what is going on? And then I realized I'm having trouble breathing too. Like I just like have such anxiety. And if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know why. I dumped $90 worth of CBD oil. Well, it exploded everywhere. I actually made a video about it. It's kind of funny. Now I can laugh about it, but I was so pissed. (laughs) Um, So I'm having trouble breathing because I'm like anxious. You know, I have a lot on my plate this weekend, but I wanted to record this show and share with you like my real life, you know? And it's, the sun is finally coming out. I'm in a huge hoodie, so it's like chilly. Um, but I'm just so grateful to be here, standing in my new desk area. And the reason why I created this was because I needed to get out of this depressing funk that I had been in for a couple of weeks. And I'm anniversarying old chemo sessions. I'm anniversarying like old MRI visits. And I literally see it on my time hop after the fact, which then explains like why I'm in this funk. So I'm like, okay, we're going to have the full moon. I have new energy. And that like didn't really happen. It did for a little bit, but I woke up and I was just like, I was off. Like I just felt off and I'm like, why is this happening? Like I have so much to do and I'm like, okay, well I need new energy in my office area. Like I need to do like a project. And for me, whenever I'm stressed out or I need like new energy and new vibes in my life, I usually clean or organize which is kind of funny because I'm literally the most organized person on the planet, but there's always still shit to get rid of. So I just started figuring out like, okay, I want a stand up desk. That's what I want. So I ended up making that happen. And then I ended up going through my entire library, all my office files, like everything office and business related, start working on my taxes, like all these insane projects. I shredded like thousands of papers. Um, And I just felt so good to like get rid of like stale energy. And if you're an empath like me, you can literally feel it. And I'm working in like a small space. So I'm like, I just need like to move shit around. I need new energy. I need to like start fresh this week to bang out the rest of the year because I'm absolutely crazy. And I just need to be organized in order to be at my best productivity level And I just felt, although I am organized, I just had so much like clutter, like just stuff around and I needed like a different space to work in. So I created this stand-up desk and now my legs are killing me. So I actually need a stand-up mat. I have like a list to go through that I have to finalize and get one today because my, it's not actually my legs, it's my heels. Now, the reason why I wanted a stand-up desk is because of my back and my spine. It's going to help with my posture rather than sitting. So when I'm producing shows all day, I have a really bad habit, and of course now I'm not rowing right now, where I don't sit up properly. And I'm sure you do the same thing. Like you have great posture, you're sitting, you're on your computer, you're living your best life, you're being productive, and then all of a sudden, like three hours later, you're like, why do I look like a hunchback? Like (laughs) I look like I'm 100 years old, like curled over, and you don't even realize. I don't know about you, but that's what I was doing. And I'm like, okay, if I have a stand-up desk, I can literally see straight into the trees, like have the sunshine in my face, and I'll have my posture back. Like, that's literally one of the reasons why I did it. 
And now I just need the mat so that my heels aren't throbbing at the end of the day. But I do like leg workouts while I'm standing here. I honestly love it. So I finished that project the end uh, the other day, ended up being like eight and a half hours. And I don't even know. <laughs> I was going through all these old records. I'm like, why do I have these things? And like I said, I was shredding papers. I went through my library. I went through all of my files and it felt so good. And I'm like, I feel like I need to do this just to prepare myself for the next couple of months. Cause if I'm going to be by coastal, like I cannot spend a penny on things that I don't need. So the other day I was running out of ink on like every pen and then I'm reorganizing my office. And in the cigar box I got for my 40th, I had inside hiding a whole entire bag of brand new pens, a whole new set of highlighters. And everything I have is like in a rainbow. I have my Sharpies, my highlighters, my dry erase markers, like everything, all my pens. And I'm like, oh my God, I would have just gone out. So now I know where everything is. Nothing's hiding inside of boxes. I highly recommend you do something like this. And I would have gone out and spent money. And now I'm like, nope, if I'm going to be by coastal, I cannot be spending any extra pennies on anything I do not need. So now I have this abundance of things. I did, however, go to Target and purchase whiteout tape, and that was like the best $4 I've ever spent because old whiteout is like driving me nuts. I can't handle it. So I threw that away. And yeah, so that's one of the things that I suggest is just getting rid of stale, like negative energy and bringing in new. So if you're feeling stuck or you're somebody that creates content and you write, you just get like bored, like nothing's happening. Nothing's coming out of your mouth. Nothing's coming out of your brain. Like you can't create good content because you're kind of like in this stale rut. So that's what I would do first is start bringing in new energy and organizing your space. Maybe get a new candle, maybe organize your pens or your notebooks or start shredding papers. That's really fun. <laughs> I had like a whole entire trash bag filled of like shredded papers. Um, organize your files, your receipts. Like my file folder is a quarter of it what, what it was. And I'm like, this is amazing. I get like a high off that stuff. So that's one of the first things I would recommend is just bringing a new energy and creating a new healthy, happy environment for yourself when it comes to working or just being productive. Like if you have a junk drawer in the kitchen and you're like, I'm so unorganized, like empty that damn drawer out and get it together. You can use like old Tupperwares that are mixed in, like, you know, have matching lids to store like all your stuff in it, like whatever you have, use what you have because then you're not spending any extra money. So once again, I'm glad I did that. So that just made me feel so much better. And then when I'm on my screens, like 12 hours a day, I need to just stop and get outside and what I did not do this week, which I really wanted to start doing every single day, and it was cold, and then it looked like it was going to rain, and those are totally excuses. <laughs> I could have just went anyway, but I did not. It's get outside for like an hour. And even if it's like 15 minutes, the complex I live in is massive. And if I just walk to the beginning of it and back, that's a whole mile. It's insane. But I didn't do that. And I can see and feel like the difference because I didn't go outside. So I'm really going to, um, today for sure I am, is turning off my devices and just get the hell outside. You need vitamin D, you need sunshine, you need fresh air. I'm getting all the fresh air now because I'm literally standing right in front of my window looking out. So that's good. But just get outside into nature. Like go for a walk on the beach, go for a walk in a park, wherever you live, get outside. Red light therapy is something I do every single night that really helps me. And, um, one of my best friends gave me led lights that I always have on in my room and in my office area. And I love them. I'm obsessed and red light therapy is so good. And then of course, when it comes to like self care, I'm the queen of all the masks and I'll go like weeks without even using it. Like I haven't rolled my face all week with my, excuse me, I have the hiccups in my ice roller. I'm like, why haven't I done that? I just like, I haven't done my nails, I haven't done my toes, I haven't done my eyebrows, all these things I do every single week religiously, and the last two weeks I just haven't, I've been go, 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 and now I can feel it, my body is like, no, you need to take a break and like regroup, because now my throat hurts, and all these other things, so self-care is so important, even if you just have a bubble bath at nine o'clock at night, like if your kids are in bed, just five, ten minutes, you're going to feel like a new person, I promise you. Going to the chiropractor, like I mentioned earlier, is 
literally changing my life. It's so, I'm like, should I go to medical school? <laughs> Even, like, I'm just learning so much. It's so interesting how I feel after that too. Like I try to go like right before they close and after my work day so I could just relax after it because one of the days I came home and I was crying because I'm releasing old traumas, you know, and it's like emotional and you're getting adjusted and like moving all those things through your body. It's so weird. I I do need to do like a whole episode on like my journey doing this because I go every other day now. And lastly, I want to share food, like healthy meals. You know, I mentioned my orange juice. I got all the fruits and veggies. So I think I'm not going to make, I have, um, my favorite chicken broth I use has zero salt is at Target. It's a good and gather brand. It's like not even $2. I don't think I can't use the bullion stuff anymore. It's just, I can't deal with that sodium. So I always use a box of that. And then I usually add like another box of water and a little bit of salsa to flavor the broth. So I'm going to do that with like onion, garlic, ginger, turmeric. I have um, carrots and celery, peas. I'm just going to make a really good chicken broth based veggie soup. And if you don't do the chicken broth and you can just do veggie broth. I haven't seen at Target if they have the no salt one, but you can just do, I've just done water as the base and then added salsa for flavor. And I know my body is like, give me all the nutrients this weekend. So that's what's happening. So this morning I actually prepped like all my fruits and veggies and I have my smoothies ready to go. And I got more protein powder on sale last night, which was so exciting. I mean, who doesn't love a good sale? So those are just some of the ways when I'm feeling really anxious, I get into my depression funk and like how I take care of myself and how I get out of it because I know I'm not alone. And I think by always continuously sharing, like I run businesses, I'm an entrepreneur, like I deal with mental health issues, but I still get the, the job done. And this is how I get outside. I get off my screen. Um, I turn off my TV and I just sleep in silence or my sound baths that I sleep, um, they're eight hours. So usually it's still going when I wake up, but sometimes I just need silence. Last night I took NyQuil and I just went to bed with my red light and that I was done. Like I honestly don't even remember falling asleep. I also had a heating pad on. I've been doing that every night and that's so nice because it's getting chilly now. So at night, like I just want all the blankets and it gets dark so much earlier. So I think that's all I wanted to share as far as mental health and just getting overwhelmed and exhausted and like still getting the job done. Um, And it's so ironic because I had half these notes written out to record the other day and I started recording and I was like, I can't record. Like I just wasn't feeling it. And now the other half of the notes are literally what has just happened to me in the like last 24 hours. I was like, that's the universe always working in my favor because now I have more content to share with you. So I really can't wait to share more on this chiropractic journey. I've So this is my second or third week. No, I think it's only my second or is it my third? Oh my God, I can't remember. But what a difference it's making. And what, just doing my walks instead of like hardcore workouts. Now, I want to share something even more exciting with you. My holiday sale is launching. Today is the 22nd. Monday the 25th. That is why I'm working all weekend long. If you are not on my email list, please go again to everythingismessy.com. Sign up. The link will be in the show notes. You get first dibs at everything. And what day is today? Yeah, 22nd I just said. I have my planner right in front of me and I'm like, wait, where is it? Because everything is so highlighted and scratched out because I can't even see the date because that's the kind of week I've had. It's just been so crazy. Um, My LinkedIn programs. So leverage your LinkedIn today, leverage your LinkedIn pro and all of my one hour coaching programs are all 50% off only till the end of the month. That's it. And the everything is messy 20 code gives you 20% off everything else on my site. And then on Monday, all the holiday collection launches. And as I mentioned, a lot of it is limited. So you're definitely going to want to sign up to be on my email list so that you get first dibs. And something else that's so crazy. So the last episode, not sure if you heard it yet or not, but it was all about TikTok. 
I got my stats. I looked at my analytics and I had 40,000 views in a month. And that's insane. I doubled my stats, doubled my followers rather. Over 100 people have shared my videos. And that just goes to show you what consistency brings. So I'm really going to step up my game next week and do three videos, even maybe this weekend, um, for the rest of the month. And then November, three videos every day where I was doing two videos every day. So if you are looking for productivity, healthy recipes, organizing tips, and all things business, LinkedIn, and podcasting, you need to be following me on TikTok because now I go live and do coaching sessions. But there's so much free content there. So if you're like, I really need to hire a business coach, but I just don't have the money, go to my TikTok because all the information you probably need is there. And then you can talk to me and pick my brain for half off until the end of the month. It's just totally worth it. It's such a good deal. And then what else did I want to share? The next episode is going to be all for small business or business owners. So you're definitely going to want to tune in. But I just wanted to share how I get out of a funk. And I think I shared like five or six of my favorite steps. Get off my screen, get outside, turn your TV off, read, be in silence, self-care, all the masks, my chiropractor, and then making healthy meals. That's five. So pick one of those, see if it works for you, or make it your own. And I hope that you have a happy, healthy, positive, and productive rest of your week. And I will talk to you soon. And again, be sure to follow me on TikTok because I have a lot of um, exciting content coming your way. I'm going to be partnering up with a bunch of more brands. And if you are a brand or have a business that you would like to be featured, send me a message, comment. Don't comment. (laughs) Well, you can comment if you're listening on my website, but make sure you... Um, send me a message on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever we're connected and let me know so that I can help you get more visibility to your brand and business. And then lastly, every single Friday, I'm giving away a copy of Everything is Messy, a signed paperback edition, as well as the ebook delivered straight to your inbox for a reviews and picking somebody each and every Friday. So if you haven't left a review for the Everything is Messy podcast, what you're listening to right now, go ahead on Apple Podcasts, Audible, or wherever you're listening, screenshot, tag me, let me know that you've done so and you will automatically be entered for next week's. Again, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week, your weekend, and I hope this episode helped. Talk soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Everything is Messy, the podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, I would love to know. Just leave me a review on the app or website you're listening on. To learn more about myself, join the community, read my book, or shop the collection, visit everythingismessy.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up to receive my weekly newsletter so you get all my announcements first. For all the the behind-the-scenes and day-to-day content, follow along on Instagram at Kellyanne Gorman Official and Everything is Messy Collection. Links are in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service, you would like to share, send me a message on everythingismessy.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. It truly means the world to me. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Everything is Messy is produced and syndicated under A Million Dreams Publishing. For more information on how you can launch your own book, podcast, or digital series, visit amilliondreamspublishing.com.